What up, what up, what's the B-word, man? I'm Anthony Addison with another segment of What's the B-word. Like and subscribe to the page. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram, What's the B-word, 52, just like you see on YouTube. Hit me up on Facebook, What's the B-word, and hit me up on Twitter, B-word, 52. And y'all already know what's going on with me, baby. Baltimore Raven fan, Raven Nation stand up. Flock, let's get it. And if you're not a Raven fan, man, you might be a fan of anybody, just any team, man, you might be a fan Y'all know I love this shirt. You might be a fan of these busters. Hit the subscribe button anyway. Hit the like button anyway, because we talk football, period, baby. But the reason why we're here right now is to talk about the Ravens. And um, I checked the engraving video when I was at work, and I checked the other, a couple of other guys' videos at work. And um, I'm just getting home and stuff like that. Um, we have, you know, broke some news today. Um, we, signed, we, re we, we gave Chuck Clark an extension. A contract and extension. Um, I, I I haven't seen like the logistics on it, but I see it's worth fifteen point three million. Um, he was going into the last year of his rookie deal, and um, shout out to Eric DaCosta again, man. Eric DaCosta is making you know another good move. Um, Chuck Clark is not a guy that you just be like, oh wow, the glimmer, the glare. You know his name is not out there like that, but that guy right there is a quality player, and uh, you want to keep quality players, man. You want to keep quality players. Um. One of the blessings in disguise, and I don't want to just consider somebody getting hurt or blessing, um, was when Tony Jefferson went down. Our defense, our coverage, especially our coverage with our safeties, got a lot better. Our communication in the secondary got a lot better. And um, I tell people all the time, like when they, everybody was so hype about Joker, everybody was Joker, 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 Joker when Tony Jefferson went down. But I had rather Chuck Clark to play because I remember hearing everybody talk about how smart that guy is and how much of a field general that guy is. And um, them the type of players, like, in the secondary, especially the safety position, them the type of players I want out there. No no shade, not saying that Elliott is not a smart player or a field general, but I heard it straight from the horse's mouth for the teammates that, you know, Chuck Clark is a field general. He he's smart. And um when you got when you got a smart safety man, I mean the few things that he lack in physically, he can make it up with his brain, man. And um if you just look at the difference of our defense when Chuck Clark, you know, got the starting role, man. Um before then before then we was giving up, you know, wide open passes up the scene, people just screaming free, wide open, um and like not getting, not players getting beaten, people getting free, free, um, getting wide open. It was people blowing coverages. I don't after Chuck Clark starting, I don't remember a blown coverage for the rest of the season. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember seeing a blown coverage for the rest of the season. So this is just a good move, man, and it's not an expensive move. I mean, you know, for three years um, extension, and it's worth you know fifteen point three million. I don't know how they're gonna chop it up and all this stuff like that, but. Um, that, that's what I see right here on ESPN.com and shout out to Chuck Clark, man. I mean, you know, that's big for him. Six round draft pick, man, to work his way out, work his way up. And, um, he a prime example of, man, just do what you got to do, man. You do the right thing and you stick around and you don't be impatient and just have, have your head down and keep digging, man. And you'll, you'll, you'll finally get what you, um, what you, what you, what you, what you want. And he found a deed. And um, one more thing about this contract extension, I love, I love the fact that Eric DaCosta does not wait to players get on the market and stuff like this, so they can get overpaid somewhere else. I mean, this is the second time he has done this, to my knowledge. Um, third time he has done this because he did Project Pack, he did Tavon, and now he's doing Chuck Clark. So you know, financially, that helps us too. It helps us too financially. Um, going ahead and locking them guys up, so we won't have to overpay them. You know, so um, now we now our eyes is on Judon, and then what we gonna do with Judon? Um, believe it or not, I think that Eric gonna let Judon walk if, if he, especially if he want too much money. Um, I think you know, judging off how Eric has been doing stuff as far as like with contracts and signing people, if he was gonna sign Judon, Judon would have got his contract extension last year. Uh, and I'm just being real. I'm just looking at like um Eric DaCosta pattern. And, um, I mean, it's a short term because, you know, he's only been the GM for one year. But his pattern right now is telling me that if he really, really believe in a player and he wants to keep a player, then he's not going to let them get close to even getting into the market. And, um, I mean, just another example of that. But, anyway, shout out to Eric DaCosta. Shout out to Chuck Clark, man, for being ready when his number was called. Shout out to the Ravens organization for getting this done, man, and giving us something to talk about. 
But anyway, y'all make sure y'all hit hit me up on Facebook. What's the B word? Hit me up on Twitter. B word fifty two. Hit me up on Instagram. What's the B word fifty two, man? Um, like I said, I'm gonna be doing videos on um, the versus video where I compare two two um players, old or new, and stuff like that. Y'all hit me up in the inbox for that. And um, you know, with um mailbag questions too about any NFL player, any NFL team, or a college player, a college team, draft picks, or whatever. We just talk football, period. But anyway, man, this is Anthony Addison, man. This was the B word, man. Subscribers, I love y'all. Flock, I love y'all, and I'm out.